too much time. Um, but this is like what you usually see. This is Aleph. Um, and Aleph is silent. So there are two silent letters in the Hebrew alphabet. Aleph, here. Mm -hmm. And you have um, Ayin, which is here, right? So you see either of those two? Yep. You don't make a sound. Okay? You ignore them. Yep. Okay, you Aleph and Ayin. The first letter of that letter, of that alphabet in Hebrew, is what you say. So right. bet, you mm -hmm. see a bet, and there it has a dot there for bet, right? Uh, that makes a B sound, mm -hmm. right? There's a very similar thing that looks like that, and it's called vet. That's right. a V sound. Yeah. Right? So very easy. Bet and vet sound the same. Okay. Except, of course, the first letters. Mm -hmm. Next is gimel. Right? Gimel, as you guessed, is yeah. a G. G. Yep. Yeah. Um, also very easy. Doesn't have a variation of it. It isn't like bet and vet. Mm -hmm. It's just gimel. Yeah. You've got dullard. Again, D. And that's what it looks like there. Mm -hmm. you got hay. So this one is just a ha sound. Really easy, just ha. Yeah. So it goes. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. No gap there, it's just that, right? Right, okay. Okay, and that's where you've got the ha sound at the back. Okay. That us, us, we, we love doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Here we have a vav, mm -hmm. right? Like Vav, it looks like that. Yeah. Cool. So, like that. This is also very easily confused with some of the vowels, right? So, the vowels basically is a Vav, but it has a dot on them. So, if you look down here to the vowels here. Yeah. Uh, for instance, here you've got a Vav here with a dot on the top left corner. Um, um, yeah. That's like home. So, ho, o. Mm -hmm. Or more like or, actually. That's a bit of a bad example. Um, you've got... This one here, where we've got the dot in the middle here. Right, and that's ooh. That's like an ooh sound. Yeah. Like ooh. Yeah. Not good. Like, again, I think that's a bit better. I think it's more like toot, like ooh. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's much better. Cool. Uh, we have Zion. As you guessed, Z. Z. There we are. And obviously, as you can tell, we don't have in Hebrew A, B, C, D. It's not like Aleph, Bet, Kaf, blah, blah, blah. It's... Yeah. A and then it's got like Z in the middle there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Chet, we've already gone through. Yeah. Yep. So already gone through Chet there. That's what you have there. Uh, tet. T. T. Yeah. Yud, that's the very interesting one there, the little like comma on the top there. Right. Yeah, that's Yud. That's a yeah. Chaf. So this is the second one where you've got the ch sound. Yeah. Chaf. Um, so that's basically the same as Chet. Um, basically the same ha. so there's two which is probably why we have so many ha sounds because we've got many letters that go ha. Right. cool chaf safi exactly the same as chaf it's just written different hear o israel the lord our god is one lord and thou shalt love the lord thy god with all thine heart and with all thy soul and with all thy might mm -hmm. so lightning starts with an l lama starts with an l so lightning mem okay this is also the same it's got a mem and a mem safit, basically mm -hmm. exactly the same, just different rules, and m. So that's what they look like. Um, you've got to be a bit careful, just going to tell you this now, because we're here, with mem and samach, wherever that is. Samach, they look really similar, as you can see, the mem safit and the samach look almost right. the same, right? The difference is that the samach has a little bit of a rounded bottom there, where the mem is just like basically a square, but it's mm -hmm. got like a little like thing coming out the side. Cool. Nun. N. Nun And then you got Nun Savit as well. Again, that looks really similar to your Vav, right? Yeah. It looks basically exactly the same, except <laughs> um, it's longer. So you've got like your, you've got your Vav, right? Mm -hmm. Which is really short at the bottom. Your Nun Savit is like real long. Right. Okay. Cool. Samach we've gone over. Iron we've gone over. Pay. Also, there's a fay as well, so that's when you've got a dot in the middle. Right. You've got a pay is a dot in the middle, a mm -hmm. fay is when it's no dot, so per, for kind of thing. Okay. If we ever come across that, then I can let you know. 
Uh, pace of feet, exactly the same. Tsadi, okay. So this is a tss sound. Like in Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength. Knowing you've got like your drums, you're like tss, tss, tss. <laughs> Yeah, so <laughs> that's... T -t -t -t. Yeah, exactly. Um, so that's what that looks like, and you've got, obviously got a tsadi, safid. Yeah. That looks like that, like a backwards Y. Mm -hmm. This is called an oof. A uh, kuf, sorry, sorry, a kuf. This is a kuf. For some reason, they did that with a Q. It's called a kuf, so that's a k sound. Mm -hmm. Resh. Uh, basically, like that looks basically a right angle at the top there. Just resh there. Yep. Shin, and you've got this here. These two variations of shin. Right. Yep, um, so you've sin got and shin and shin. And sin. Yep, so sh and s. Right, and it's very easy to get confused, but shin always the one on the right side where you've got the dot at the top and then sin is at the top of the left. So that's your sh and sh sound. Yep. sound. Right. Yep. So an s sound, basically just s and then sh. Okay. And then tav, last letter there. And that's what a tav looks like. Cool. Cool. And then we've gone through a few of the vowels already. We've gone through or and u, mm -hmm. right? So just more to go on or and u. We've already talked about the ones that look like the vubs. Um, also, if it's on top of any letter, um, it's an or as well. So especially when it comes to these silent ones. Which... Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. But, uh, when it's a silent vowel, it's basically all you do is ignore the letter. You just concentrate on the vowels. On the vowel. okay. So if you've got like this or sound, this chocolat, no, sorry, this chocolat, um, don't worry about the name of it. That's just what it's called. Mm -hmm. um, basically, you just go or. So same thing as that. That's exactly the same. Right. Oh, yeah, like there. Yep, yeah, okay. yeah. So like here, so like there'll be O, that's O as well. But mm -hmm. if you've got it under a different letter, let's say you've got a lamid and an O sound, you'd go lo. <clears throat> so you'd get the consonant first, right. and then the vowel, so you go right. lo. So if you see that, there'll be letter, then vowel. Mm -hmm. It was always letter, then vowel. Uh, and then that's exactly the same with this. You've got uh, three, three down there. Yep. So when it's a diagonal down, it's an oo. Okay. You know it's an oo because that's three dots. It's like an oo. You've got to you've got to read that. Um, we've got the a's. Yep. Super easy. A's are basically either a line or a t at the bottom of the letter. Right. Okay. Right. T at the bottom of the letter. Attention, Israel. God, our God, the one and only. Love your God with your whole heart. Love Him with all that is in you. Love Him with all you've got. Line at the bottom of the letter. Mm -hmm. That is an a. Right. So that would be a. Mm -hmm. Essentially, and that's usually what happens with Aleph because obviously most people would think Aleph, oh, it's an A, but obviously it's silent. But um, yeah, that's usually what happens. You've got an A vowel under the Aleph. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got an E sound, an S sound, sorry. Basically, if you've got dots under any of the um, letters, then it's an E, e sound, an right. E or S sound. That one, this one's an S sound. Mm -hmm. The E sounds when it's one dot. Okay. Yeah. Yep. This one, from memory, this one is silent, so you just ignore. 